Hello traders, so I am again with another video and this video is important because this video's topic will help you to understand candlestick more precisely and effectively. I have seen that so many of you are having difficulty in understanding candlestick analysis and because of the same reason that you always think of put and call. You don't analyze them correctly the way they should be analyzed and I will tell you why. But first of all if you are from our Facebook group then do like this video I am making all these videos for you so please motivate me and support me as well. And if you didn't join the Facebook group then links are given in the description there are so many so many professional traders or experienced traders who are helping you to clear your doubt as well. Do visit one time it will not cost you anything it is all for free the links are in the channel's description so now come to the topic so today's video is about psychologies of traders when you start trading suppose if you are in a current market on binary trading the main thing you focus is I have to find a place in which I can place a trade like put or call even if you are analyzing the candle you are always thinking like maybe I can place a put here or a call but this is the, not the way to analyze the candles actually the psychology works the whole market moves due to the psychologies of different millions of traders out there and you have to understand that if you wanted to predict the direction of the market with candlestick analysis you have to think like a trader first there is a great saying that says if you wanted to catch a criminal then you must think like a criminal first the same goes for trading as well so in this video we will going to think like a trader like a buyer or like a seller and will predict the next coming market direction so let's start this is not an easy task but with time you can have some good strong graphs over these topics and I will be making regular videos on this as well try to make one video a week as I have different topic as well so let me select a better time for market this is GMT 13 so this is this will be preferred because this is the best time so let's start from here okay so suppose you start trading and the market is here here suppose so we will go back and we'll draw some level so that because we will not going to see the whole chart we will hiding the next coming chart and we'll try to predict the market as well so this is the last point this is the extreme resistance a small extreme resistance so let's go where we started always focus here you have to focus on these candles because we are going to analyze the next candles okay sorry so now I start from here so suppose this is our resistance from this level to this level this is now support so now think like if you are trading like a trader then what will goes in your mind after seeing this candle what this candle is depicting to you this candle you can pause the video as well and try to think this candle is suggesting us a strong hold of buyers in the market it means the market will go up but you have to look on the other side of the map you have to think like a seller as well do you think that sellers interfere in this condition no why because the resistance level is here I have drawn this level the resistance is here and the market is here with full buyers only what does this tell you this suggests that the buyers will take the market to at least this level because Forex moves from one level to the next level and this candle is very strong candle means that market will continue and the next candle should be a green candle it is giving us a signal that there are only buyers and sellers will not will interfere here because there are no sign of sellers 
the seller's area is here this is buyer's area now so the next candle should go up and let's see and now the next candle goes up but what about this candle what this candle is showing you this candle is showing me some sellers now where are sellers actually this is sellers these are sellers how the market was here but it goes back to this level particular this level and again goes up it means there are some sellers it means we should be very very protective about our trading we should think before placing any trade but as you can see the market reverse for a little time and then cover it completely what does this mean this means that this is also now this is still a bias market why because sellers tried but the, the, their try is very small you can see it's small wick so what should be the next market move the market should go up to this level so we will replace a call and you can see this now what there are more sellers you can see this was a small wick now the wick is now bigger it means that more sellers and you can see a small wick above the body it means that there are sellers here because why there are sellers because this line this line is a sellers area this line depicts that there are sellers here because we have drawn this line from our previous resistance this is the extreme level from where the market reverses last and so there must be some sellers who are waiting for these points to trade and so no okay we didn't miss mm, where are we yes okay we, we are here so now okay we missed this trade so let me explain you what this candle depicts this candle depicts that there are some more sellers as well the sellers here are less but the number of sellers increases but still the buyers are more why because this closes as a green candle what does what does this suggest that there are more sell more buyers and the buyers are stronger so it will continue its uptrend it should continue actually sometimes it reverses as well i will explain you why it happened in the coming videos but for now this candle shows that market should go more up and again it goes up but now the wick the wick is increasing you can see small wick a little bigger or bigger and what does this suggest increasing sellers pressure why because this is seller seasons this is not buyers area there are sellers who are waiting that we will continue to make the market to go down as soon as the market hits this level this is where buyers rule but this is sellers ruling area and sellers will not going to let buyers compare or interfere in their reason so we should not place any trade here even if we are seeing a, a, a partially hanging man but we cannot trade here why because this is sellers area market will reverse from here and the next candle now this is a red one what this candle depict to you that there are so many sellers and why this candle is a pure red this shows that all the buyers leave the market why because they understand that this is sellers area and they will take the market to go down in this candle you can only see a red candle with full sellers um, control over the market and there is no wick at all in the below reason and this is sellers reason so what should the market will be doing it should be going at least to this level I think this is where the market reverses again and again so this is now a support but uh, from this level this is sellers area and this candle is a strong candle so market should go down to this level and then it can reverse and the next candle you can see it is strong too this is also strong candle it goes to the second level this is a support level but now what what do you think the next candle should be we cannot predict why 
because it depends on buyers and sellers. If the buyers are buyers will enter, then it will go up. And if the sellers entered, the market will go down. But according to these two candles, it shows that there are sellers. There are so many sellers and they are selling out as fast as they can. But we cannot predict this market, this can, the next candle because this is buyer's reason now. This was a support and this entered. We can predict if the next candle is a weak candle and was not able to break this level. It shows that buyers entered and they are now in a mood of controlling the market. But for now, the sellers are strong. The market may reverse or may not because these are strong candles. We cannot predict the strong candles because market may or may not reverse. So we will wait. And you can see the buyers entered and they make the market to move up. But what about now? You can see as this was buyers area and they make their move and move forward make the market to go up but what is next this is our sellers reason this is our seller season so the sellers will wait here why because you can see this is this is an uptrend so we can trade here why because this is the level where buyers entered and but we should be very very focused on placing our support and resistance as you can see the market is near the resistance and support so it may happen that it will go up and comes down as well so it is better if you trade with call until the market comes down and reverse if you wanted to place a call here then you should focus if the market comes down and got rejection if you place uh, like uh, the candle finishes here and you place a call it will be a risky trade why because the market can reverse because this is near the resistance area you have to wait like the candle finishes here so you have to wait like for 10 seconds if the market comes down and get rejection you can place a call because the market will go up to this level at least it reverses from this level this is an uptrend the buyers entered in the market and they will take the market to go more up and the next candle is a green candle and you can see it reverses from this I, that is what I was talking about the market should come down got rejection and you can place a trade this is how I trade continuation of trend you cannot trade continuation of trend like after this candle until the market reverse back because market does not move in a straight line it moves from up down up down in a zigzag motion I will explain this as well like in next week uh, I'm making videos over over uh, the price action as well to to clear you how you can trade continuation and what type of continuation you should avoid but for now uh, what I was I told you is to wait for rejection from lower reason to get a continuation of trend so you can see this candle but what about this candle now for me this was a resistance this is a resistance or not this is a resistance why the market comes down it goes little up and reverse the market tried to go up and reverse the market tried to go up but was not able to cross it shows that there must be something here that is making the market to stop and what is this this is sellers reason and there must be sellers who are making the market not to go up but to go down why because suppose think like a trader if you are a trader and you have placed a put here then what you want you want the market to go down nobody wants to lose if suppose the market starts to go up again what you will do you will place more money so that the market will push down we also do in binary as well sometimes we, if uh, the level is been and play, uh, placed uh, the trade has been placed at a wrong level we place another trade to recover this and that is what traders do and that is what makes the resistance to shift from one level to another these small small things are very very important and this level is not been crossed by this candle even if this is a hammer 
we cannot trust this we cannot predict if the market will go up or down we should wait why let's see what is the next candle according to me it may cross but as this candle was not crossed this level it should go down but this is a uptrend so it may cross as well but my vote is for downtrend uh, okay it is a red candle a strong red candle now what this strong candle suggests this strong candle shows let me draw it here because this was a support as well I told you that the market reverses from this level so and you can see this candle does not able to cross this level so just make this a level as well because it may or may not work so now what this is a red candle this is a strong candle what does it depict market wants to go down according to the sellers they must be motivated that market is going down the sellers who are here should be thinking that yes we are going to get some profit here and this market is going more down but for buyers for buyers this is this is their support this is also a support but this is also their support they will not take the market to go down because according to this candle the buyers must have invested their money here so they don't want the market to go down what they will do they will invest more so this candle is a strong red candle the market should go down but we have a support in an uptrend so we should wait the market may cross or may reverse and you can see it crossed completely what this depict to you what this depict this depict a strong full control of market over by the sellers this candle was a strong candle there are no buyers at all the buyers tried so many times one time two times three times four times but the fifth time they failed because the sellers wants the market to go down and it goes down this strong candle what this, this uh, the strong candle depicts that the sellers are now in profit now what should be the buyers thinking the buyers the buyers will wait for this level why this level because this is their reason this is bias reason this is a support level so they will be thinking that okay we will play we will wait because this is a strong control of seller so we will wait till the market hit that level and then we can place our trade because we have to recover the buyers who have placed their trade here they are in loss so we will what they will do they will place their trade here to recover some loss so let's see what the next candle the next candle should be going down touching this level at least and let's see okay it is a green candle and it reverses from here why it reverses let me see let me draw a line here and see okay remove this line so this is a line market reverses from here okay why okay this is kind of an area of support this is how I draw support you know this is an area of support and the market reverses from the same as well now what about the next candle who is more excited absolutely the buyers why because they able to push that strong market to go up but the sellers who invested their money should be very safe feeling safe because there is a resistance here as well this resistance will hinder the market to go more up absolutely it will but this is this level is a buyer season so the uh, interference of sellers will be less in there in respect to this level there are more sellers here but the buyers are here more so the market will continue to go up and then after that it can reverse but for now the buyers looks decent and strong why even if these two candles are strong but the market reverses from support reason this candle is a full candle you can see the wick are in the lower region shows buyers pressure and there is no wick at all it means the market will be going up 
but as these two candles are strong the market will going to reverse from this level it is definite this is the psychology you if you see these two can strong candles you will be thinking market will be going down it may it cannot go up but for them the market should go up to recover their losses so let's see what's happened okay it is closes as red it goes down why so as i told you according to this level the buyers are strong and so the market goes up but these two candle shows the psychology of sellers that we are stronger and we will not going to let you win and they make they pushes the market down to this level and that is why the psychology of trader is very important if you focus on these things you can easily analyze the candlestick don't you don't have to worry i will make videos on these topics i will try to make every week a video so that we all can discuss and if you think that this is working then do practice by yourself as well this is actually this is the way i practice by myself i practice candlestick analysis the same way but if you wanted to uh, have more confidence in you then you must have to practice like this and if you are practicing like this is candlestick analysis like we will trade no need to trade just focus on candlestick this uh, live trading will take time actually if you wanted to analyze 20 candles you have to spend 20 minutes here but for these kind of candlestick analysis like every next candle you can analyze like one hour chart in 20 minutes and this is what time management i practice both types i trade in practice I analyze the market in a different way I use so many techniques to improve my candlestick analysis I just wanted to improve my candlestick analysis and the rest will always be covered up so this is what I want you all to learn to practice candlestick analysis if you wanted to trade 10 trades you can trade and if you wanted to practice you can practice as well but focus on candlestick they all have hidden secrets behind them it is up to you how you find them so I will finish this video here hoping that you all understand something special out of this video and you must be motivating motivating me by your comments as well so let's practice let's keep ITM keep focus good day thank you very much good day